Welcome back everybody. Today's video is going to be Milani based. Um, we are going to be playing with two new products. The first one is the Milani Scream Queen Natural Finish Foundation. And the second is the Cheek and Kiss, um, Cheek Kiss, not Cheek and Kiss, Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush, um, both from Milani and these are both new products. Um, I'm going to incorporate some other Milani things that aren't as new, but we will be trying to keep with the Milani theme. So yeah, that's going to be today's video. If you're interested and you want to check out these two new products and do a little get ready with me, then we're going to go ahead and begin. Before we begin, I'm going to prime my face. I did already moisturize, all that good stuff. Today we're going to be going in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. So I'm just gonna take literally just one pump. I'm gonna let this sit for a minute. So to start off with the foundation, I did pick it up in the shade 240, which is considered a warm vanilla. The foundation claims to be a luminous natural skin finish, buildable light to medium coverage, and long wear. So we're about to try her out. I'm just gonna use a beauty blender for my whole face. And uh, yeah. We're gonna just do a pump on the face, I think. Well. <laughs> okay, there we go. After about a minute of priming, I finally got a little bit out. Um, we're just gonna take this, put that little bit right there, just a little bit. Now let's now let's pump. Okay, so that was a full pump. Um, it is it does have a nice little pump on it. Took a minute to get the product going through, but she is on. And I do have some breakouts going on. So that was one pump. It does say it is light to medium, so I wasn't expecting like a whole bunch of coverage. Just more of like an everyday wear foundation. And you can still see my little breakout coming through a little bit. It's still red. So what I'm going to do is before I put another... Before I add another um, pump, I'm going to go ahead and just do this side. And then we'll add some more. But the shade does look good. Shade looks pretty good. And I was going to get 220, which was, let's see, this one's warm vanilla. I think the other one was warm beige or nude beige. It was 220. No smell. It feels nice on the skin. I don't hardly put foundation on my nose, just really um, whatever's left on my beauty blender. So we're just going to add a little bit right here and do this forehead because I do have a little breakouts going on up here as well. So we're just looking for some coverage. So far, I'm liking how it looks. These dang baby hairs up here. I was um, shaving them off before, and then I was like, no, I can't keep doing that because I just can't. So I'm just letting them grow out. <laughs> so they're, that's why those are there. Looking crazy. Okay, so now we have a total of three pumps. I did Well, I did about a half a pump on here, one on each side. So let's add another pump or so and see how buildable she is. I'm just going to add like a half on each. And I really like the packaging. Um, the first foundation that Milani came out with, well, I don't know if it was the first, 
but the one that conceal and perfect um, I tried that and it's geared more towards oily skin and I had a really hard time picking a shade like I grabbed one and then returned it and then went and grabbed a different one and returned it and then after I found a shade that was all right I tried it out and I didn't like the foundation not at all okay so she is building up pretty well okay so what do we think um, you can definitely see my um, some of my pimp my blemishes pimples coming through um, it was definitely buildable definitely a light to medium buildable it's not full coverage you can it's an everyday foundation and I like it if I didn't have these breakouts going on right now it would look pretty good um, I can't really compare it to another foundation I don't think I've tried a foundation like this it does say that it has a digital blue light filter I'm not sure exactly what they're talking about there but my skin looks really smooth um, so yeah, I'm excited to keep trying this baby out. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to the blush. Now the blush I picked up in 110 Nude Flush. That's the name of her. I talked about both these products in my last video. The, um, Sephora and Ulta haul. These both, both these products are from Ulta, of course. Um, but yeah, it's a liquid blush. And it just says that you just gently dab onto your cheeks or lips. So, um, I don't, I don't know if I want to try a beauty blender or, actually, before I do this, I think I should go ahead and conceal. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do concealer. Now, I do have the, I'm going to do concealer before we do the blush. But I am going to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect um, Concealer. Uh, this, <laughs> this is in the shade 110 Nude Ivory. So I am going to put some of this on before we do the blush. Not a lot. This is a really nice coverage concealer. Um, I do like this one. Which I like this concealer. Um, like I said, I do have it in a contour shade. But I don't think we're going to use this today. I don't want too much liquidy, creamy product since we are using a liquid blush. I'm just going to use a powder contour. That's the one thing I forgot about this one. It does dry pretty quick. You guys, I'm liking, I'm feeling how I look right now. It's definitely better than um, the last foundation I tried, which was that Juvia's Place one. If you guys didn't watch that video, I'll link it down below. But I felt like that Juvia's Place was just... At first, I was, like, liking how I looked, but then I was like, oh, this is, nope. It literally, it just felt like all this whole area just, like, came away and evaporated. It was just terrible. But, yeah, that concealer is nice. It's been, it's been probably, like, a couple weeks since I've used it, but, yeah, I like how I look. So, now, before we said anything, we're going to go ahead and try the Cheek Kiss Blush. This is, like I said, in 110 Nude Flush. And it just says to dab. So, it is just a little squeeze tube packaging. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. Ooh. The color is so pretty. So, this is what it looks like. It is a very muted nude. So, I'm going to just take it on my finger. And we're just going to put it right here and blend it 
it's blending really well with the with my finger and it doesn't feel like it's moving any product it's not moving the foundation around underneath it's really creamy and it says it's just what it says a nude flush you guys I'm on this kick of cream blushes liquid blushes since my skin's been so dry lately like so dry and I'm just like tired of powder products I'm not tired of them but I just want to see if I can make my makeup look better and I really like that so now let's try it with that's what the is left over on my hand I better stop touching it yeah, but I don't think it look, it doesn't look like it moved the foundation around at all. So now what I'm going to do is take the back of my beauty blender, grab what's left on my hand, and we're going to try it with the beauty blender. so pretty I think it it does look a little bit more sheer um, on the side with the beauty blender of course I think I prefer it with my finger so what I'm gonna do is just get a little bit more on the side with the beauty blender and just bring that color out a little more I just really like how this looks I feel so like fresh anyways so that blush is super nice they had about four or five other colors at my Ulta I'm not sure if it's the whole shade range or not but they had a really pretty um, like coral which oh, was so pretty and like a hot of like a rosy pink a more like deep burgundy shade so I'm definitely gonna be picking more of these up these were $10, or no, $8.99, and the Scream Queen foundation was $13.99 at my Ulta, and I'm pretty sure at Walmart, I seen it, it was only like $11. You know, Ulta's a little bit more marked up in prices, but like I said, I exchanged it for that Juvia's place, so I really wasn't too concerned about the extra couple bucks. But... I am really liking how I look so what I'm gonna do is just set my under eyes and I'll show you guys that part since I am gonna be using a new product my mom just came in and brought me the Too Faced banana uh, banana cream setting powder she said she didn't like the shade I think that's what she said so we're gonna try her out I'm gonna grab a brush and we're gonna sweep some of this under my eyes let's go ahead and just so this under your eye set that concealer huh it doesn't look too bright let's get a little bit more into this other eye hmm not at all um not really pigmented for being a banana powder it's not very brightening maybe that's why my mom didn't like it but we already used it so we'll just go ahead and use it to set this concealer don't want to take away too much of the blush so what I'm gonna do is just finish off my makeup I'm gonna set the rest of my face add a little bit of bronzer <laughs> duh, and um, I might add a little bit of a Milani blush over this because now that it's kind of set in my skin, maybe I should have added a little bit more. I feel like it kind of already looks faded. But that could be from the powder. So I'm going to kind of, I'm going to kind of, I'm going to have to kind of figure out a good way to apply this and get the most color on my cheeks without drowning it out with powders. But whatever. I still kind of like it. It is definitely a nude flush. So I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, finish off my makeup off camera. I'll come back. I'll tell you what I added to my face if I add anything to the blush area. 
but yeah. I'm finally done with my makeup. Um, I did add a little bit of liner and mascara. No lashes. My eyelash curler broke. Um, but I do have on my lips the Lime Crime Velveteen Drew Lip Liner with the Impulsive Powder Lipstick from MAC and the Becca <laughs> Crystal Lip Topper in um, Topaz and Gilt. Super pretty and this is the three, the combo for my lips. Um, but yeah, that finishes today's video. I enjoyed trying out that foundation and the Kiss Cheek or the Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. Um, some thoughts on everything. Foundation, you guys, go and get this. Um, I'm not sure how it would work if your skin's more dry. I mean, I'm not sure how it would work if your skin's more oily, but you guys know me. I'm a dry skin girl and this baby just I feel like I look really smooth and flawless especially this area right here I'm assuming maybe that has something to do with the digital blue light whatever that is in here but I did not add a powder over my cheeks what I did was just add a little bit to the back of my blender and put a little bit just dabbed it because I didn't want to mess up the powder underneath and it blended beautifully um, you guys can see on my cheeks it didn't pick up any of the foundation underneath um, this these liquid blush this formula is bomb and together with the foundation even bomber come in a little bit closer and show you guys my face um, if it would stay in focus there we go so you guys can see what my skin's looking like it just looks so good like it's not coming off it's a soft touch it is a natural finish and I've come to find that the natural finish foundations um, along with like luminous ones look the best on me so um, Milani I'm really loving these two products but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video watching me try out the foundation and the liquid blush. I do have a couple other liquid blushes that I want to try from my previous video, that haul I mentioned. The Cheeky Stamp one, and I do have the Milk Makeup um, Cheek and Lip Oil Tint. So I want to try that out as well. But if you have any other video suggestions or anything you want to see me try, let me know down in the comments. Um, but yeah, you guys, I really am enjoying how my skin looks. I really do. Like, I think it looks really good. Hmm. Like, it's just one of those, ooh, girl, your skin looks nice. Like, yeah, girl, thanks. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to head out, head off of here. Um, like I was saying, if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't, and I will see you guys in my next video.